everybody, welcome back to the channel and another episode of Inheritance. So last episode was a pretty easy fight. Picked up on the uh, SM1 vehicle with the, with the Ultra 20, which is awesome. Going to use it today. But I decided to wait and see what the Griffin, um, how badly it was mauled. Because uh, we still, it's been several episodes and we still haven't seen how much damage it had taken. So let's quickly go to the mech bay real quick here and we'll take a look. So the Griffin, some good news and some bad news. So let's take a look here. So the good news is we retain the combat shotgun and the in heavy industrial armor, which is great because we need to both of these, or this you need this one to be able to use this. And we, we, we retain the Guardian ECM and the medium Rex laser, but we lost a large chem laser and all the internals. So, you know, it's going to be an interesting uh, return to service, I think. So we had, a, we had the what, the 240 on this thing before? Double heat sink kit. I'm wondering if we need to go all, like, make this thing very similar to the Cephalus and just kind of like medium laser the hell out of this thing. We have a double heat sink kit, right? It's the clan one, though. So if we're going to put a core in, we've only got one double heat sink. One, we have one clan double? We lost our clan double heat sink, didn't we? We did. So we can't actually add a double heat sink kit to this. So this thing is out of action until we get a double heat sink kit, I think. Yeah, because the smallest core we have is a 245. And we're not going to be able to get a... Well, I mean... Okay, if we did... Let's leave that for now. If we did a 245, let's say, and then we go with... Um, that. And we go with... Um, where are you here? I'm going to save that, I think. Uh, we've got endo we can drop in. Where are you here? Where are the heat sinks? Oh, they're up here. There. Uh, okay, we put one heat sink in for now. So we've got six and a half tons. So not a lot. Like, I mean, I was thinking we could go with a like a ranged build on this, like an LRM, kind of something nice and cool, rather than using um, the other thing too, is we could go all rockets. Dart in, fire off a whole bunch of rockets, and then dart out. It's kind of a waste of a mech at that point, but this is like five tons, so it's... There's nothing really here that's going to lend itself to a... Uh, I mean, the pair of MML5s may be... We dropped the, dropped the Rex laser. There's not enough weight on this thing. So we're going to leave it for now, I think. I'm not going to bother repairing it. Um, we'll get it back into service because it is one of our inheritance mechs, so it does have to come back to the fight at some point. But right now we're just going to leave it out. And today we're going to go with the Talos. Um, the, I wonder if I should drop this today and go with the Hunchback. Oh, God, it's such a tough decision. So a two and a half skulls, this ambush convoy mission. We're either going to get relatively lucky and it won't be so bad with the escorts. Or it's going to be a nightmare. And if it's a nightmare, do we want more armor or more, more mobility? I'm thinking it's going to be more mobility either way. So let's stay with the Cephalus. The reason why I'm saying that is that those hard to kill mechs and vehicles that are behind kind of enemy lines that are harder to get to, we can send the Cephalus in to go hunt them down. So I'm thinking we stay with that lineup. All right, so Griff is back today. I'm going to drop... Mm, do we want to drop Griff in the... Hang on a minute. Let's go to the barracks real quick here. Let's see what our skills tell us. So nothing on this guy. Good to go. Griff is still okay. Yes, Commander. You're fine. I'm you. Mr. Mothman what? Prophecy wow. is fine. What do you need? Sturm. Do we want to go piloting? Now we're going to save for gunnery. And Order. taser face. You finally got enough to go guts your piloting. It's an issue of randomness. Drops. But I think we go gunnery. We're going to wait and hold out for gunnery after this mission. So, um, command center. There it is there. We've been knocking these missions out fairly well here. So let's go ahead. 
We didn't get enough for Rasselhag off that last mission, eh? We only got one point, really? Well, I guess so, because it was only a one-skull mission. So we're going to go full salvage on this, of course. All right, now we're going to pull out the Hunchback, right? We're going to bring in this guy. Now, do we leave... That's the question. Do we leave Killjoy on the Wolverine? Because the Wolverine was in... Well, you know, yeah, because Griff is really the Griffin pilot. We'll leave him out for now. Hmm. Because I think what I'll end up doing is, until we get the, the next Leopard to expand our drop, I think what I'll do is, we'll, we'll always go with Granite, Griff, and Taserface in the Talos, the Griffin, and the Cephalus, and then we'll rotate out the end mech depending on the job. And then as we get more pilots, or more slots to drop more pilots, we'll then change out the ones down here. I think that's what we'll do. And we're going to change this around here. But until then, yeah, let's just go. Yeah, I think we got enough firepower. Command interface initiated. Okay. All right. Where are you guys? Oh, it's okay. It's the standard mission from here. This heat isn't going to help anything. Dropping there just ensures that you lose pretty much unless you have all long range cuz they're going to be coming straight through here. And they're going to here, which means we need to be as far up to catch them if they try to blow past us. So, I'm thinking like here thinking that's how we do it. Drop pods, eh? Alright. Our target is within sensor range. Not exactly sure how those work. I'm sure they've got retro jets jets that fire when you're landing, but the way they look there, it's like I don't think you understand how physics work. <laughs> At that speed everyone would just be a gelatinous mass when they hit the ground. <laughs> uh alright. What are they doing? Oh, I kind of hear the vehicles. Okay. Alright, let's do this. Um, put myself right in the fucking road. This is me saying to you, You shall not pass! Um, okay, Cephalus. I want to get you... Yeah, we can get down over here. So I'm going to go this way. You're not good in a direct stand-up fight. Moving out. But this guy, on the other hand... This guy is going to F you up. Alright, switch these to flak. Or from flak to standard. Uh, but I don't think I want to move you up just yet. I'm going to put you here. Onward. And you, same idea. Let's get behind the rock. Moving to position. I guess that sound is supposed to be the fusion engine. What do we got? Vulcan? Flashman! Ooh! I wish I had Infernos now. That's a 75 tonner. So it looks like they've only got the convoy and no additional ex um, escort. So they've got one escort unit, so probably four mechs. Hetzer wield assault gun, Vedette quick cell 2, which could be dangerous a little bit. Prowler's not so bad. Is this the... Um, it's the AC-20 version. Okay, that guy's got to go. Three energy. Two missile and two energy. So kind of standard Prowler. 7K flash, man. So it's probably got the... Uh, 5T. It's probably got the double heat sink kit. Maybe we can get a double heat sink kit out of this. That would be nice. Ready for orders. That Vulcan hasn't moved yet, has he? I don't want to go where the Flashman can see me, but let's get here. Not giving us much evasion, but I don't care if we can pull the arm off of this guy, because his ballistic is right here, I believe. Um, yeah, let's hammer him. Attacking from position. Okay, both ACs hit, but we missed with the uh, big one. No, we didn't. Did we hit with everything? I guess we did. Yes, Commander. All right, Miss Taserface. Let's see 
if we can spot any more idiots back here. So we got plenty of headroom. It could just be the two. It could be the Vulcan and the Flashman. Nah, maybe. Nope, it's not. Rifleman looks like. So what do we got eyes on now? Two more back here. Rifleman 2N and a line holder. It's the same version we, with minus one LRM. And the Rifleman with a pair of PPCs. Yep, makes me wish I had incendiaries. <sighs> Alright, you good. I think we can get a relatively quick kill on that guy. Pair of medium lasers, huh? I'm not sure. Well, I think maybe we get the Holopolis on the vehicle. Well, maybe not. I was going to say maybe we get the Holopolis on the vehicles, but I'm wondering if the um, our vehicles could do the job. Commander. That way, that way we can stay focused on the mechs. Oof. Look better on this guy, though. Uh, let's get up here. Confirmed. Nah, not too, too bad. And I know this doesn't matter. Um... Let's drop the sensors too, because he's kind of by the road. Maybe we get that torso, I don't know. Affirmative. Looks like we got a torso hit. Primary target is taking damage. Okay, not enough. It's fine. That's fine! Yeah, they're going to be all over the Cloudbuster for the first little bit, I think. Until they see this SM. And then they'll be like, Kill it! Kill it with fire! Look at this thing. My god, I remember when we first saw that, the, uh, ex the, uh, I think it was... Was it the, uh, Compendium 3052, the, the, uh, the Battletech, uh, MacBook 3052, I think it was? It was the SLDF, when they find the SLDF, um, um, info, and they start making the old SLDF mechs again, and the Flashman was one of them. And we saw it, and we're like, that's the most ridiculous thing we've ever seen. I'm ready. Like, urban mechs are one thing, but the Flashman just looks so bizarre. You, you're like, man, look at... i got no ability to see anybody here. I guess, in a way, it's kind of good, because they can't see me, but... Oh, uh, what do we do? Oh, we can go here, though. But I want to engage the convoy. I want to shoot the convoy. That's not very good, is it? That's not very good, is it? 28, huh? We're just in a really bad spot here. I thought it was a little less of a crest here, but I am wrong. Often wrong. Uh, I'm gonna put you here. On my way. At least when they start to come up over the hill, you'll be able to see them. Take a pot shot at this guy. Nope. Fail to connect. That's alright. Maybe he'll shoot back. Maybe he'll reply. Yep, he will. And he'll hit you. Only got one on, though. Hey. Just showing you how to do it, buddy. Just showing you how to do it. Yeah, so this thing is going to be devastating once it starts. Look at this. Look at the speed with the Ultra 20. Like, I mean, come on. Really low chance to hit, but still... I mean, it'll be a lot better once we're able to get up there. Uh, let's reserve you. Orders. Alright, maybe you can kill that uh, Vulcan here. If we can get a shot in the torso. Um, direct fire. We want to go regular ammo. Artemis and firing. Yes! Welcome to the fight. I think I hit something good. I think you did too. I'm here. Now the question is, can we get... As soon as they see you though, they're going to be on you. Probably. Let's just... I want to see how much attention oh this thing garners. Boy, here we go. We got we to gotta figure that out. 54%. 23, 25, 16, 25. 
You got the ammo. <laughs> Get See ya. That was a good get. As long as it doesn't die and is unrecoverable, this mission, that was a good get. Waiting for orders. All right, we just straight up kill this guy. SRM two and no armor. I'm gonna back up and we're gonna kill this guy. I don't think I'm in thunderbolt range now either. Am I? No, it didn't quite make it, but that's fine. We'll fire it anyway. Plenty of damage. Bring it down. The failing of this mission is that their convoy force is forced to kind of like continue along the path rather than stopping and waiting for the escorts. It'd be nice if they could do that, if they would stop and wait for the escorts. Yeah, you can't challenge one of these two without the other one coming after you, so we have to be careful back here. One hit from one of those PPCs and we're in trouble. Standing by. Um. Let's give them some armor to shoot at. Get a bit of evasion, stay in the trees. 30%. That's not bad on this guy. Prowler's got a bit of armor too, so let's start shooting this guy. Drop the sensors in there, yep. Alright, big one didn't hit. That's alright. Sensors are on, nice. Good positioning for those sensors. You keep him moving forward? Oh, he's backing up a little bit. Oh, I see what you're doing. Yeah, it makes me wish I had incendiaries. We do. The only incendiaries we have right now are on the uh, Standing by. Helopolis here. He's, I was able to tack on uh, bolt-on incendiary 20s to this guy before we came. So, uh, let's stay out of the range of those guys over there. I want to go after the convoy first, I think, and try and kill them. But Dad, how are we looking for armor on this thing? It's pretty damn chunky. Um, let's target you first and see if we can soften it up. Let's switch the ammo around, though. Uh, yeah. Not really. That's a lot of armor. That's a lot of armor for 50 tons. Oh man, they are loving you. Armor breach. Journal damage. Let's see if you can stay alive. I guess because they can't see this guy, they're not shooting they're for him. Shooting at me. Like these guys back here aren't shooting at him. Yeah, that's the guy that's got to go. It's going to be an AC-20 duel. Alright, we're going to pull the Cloudbuster back. Use it for only vehicles that can crest the hill. Line holder. Right, if he stays alive. Ah! Reporting critical hit. Commander? Pull back here. You are out of the fight. Unless we need you. Yeah, I wasn't really sure if that position was going to be viable, but it's fine. We drew some fire away from the port important members of society. That's all that matters. Wait, we want to do an AC-20 duel. I can't, can't see this guy? I can from here, though. That's putting me precariously close to those guys, though. <sighs> okay, let's go. AC-20 duel. I'm going to wind these up. Hammer him. Ooh. So we only hit with one, I think. Although it did show two, I think it was just one, yeah. Yeah, it was only one. 
Awaiting orders. Now we try and capitalize that and try and kill that Hetzer. Nah, they're just gonna target you then. Hmm. Yeah, we'll back up here. Affirmative. Let's see if we can capitalize on that Hetzer damage and maybe get lucky and clip this side. It would be a kill if we hit with with, with any of the lasers. Roger that. Uh, that may have done it. Yep. Nice. Okay, AC-20 is out of the picture. Enemy down. Excellent. Yep. Hmm, that's interesting positioning. That's actually not bad. That's even better. The Prowler's got less armor, but... We can remove the Prowler. It's guns off the field, right? Right? In theory? I don't think we can remove him unless we get lucky and hit all the same location, but let's fire at him. Confirmed. I don't think we have anything. Well, we got a side hit, but I think that was with the SRMs. Yes, Commander. Okay. I deal with one, I gotta deal with both. Can't be turned like that. Roger Let's that. just do it. Because why not? That's pretty damn good. How much armor do you have in the back? Nothing. You have no back armor. And this guy's probably got low amounts. Yeah, it's okay. Let's give him a, uh, fuck you. Scored a critical hit. Hey, what's up, buddy? No SRMs remaining. He's not even gonna shoot at me. I guess he's just a little shocked that uh, I showed up there. Alright, we need to get you. I'm ready the hell out of there like this because if those vehicles come over the hill and they can see you they're going to shoot at you so let's give it some distance let's give it some distance okay so those are probably uh it sounds like medium improved but they could be like like light expulses or something Yeah, they do like you. Too bad that flash that flash man can't hit with a ship five chevrons of evasion too on an ultra twenty carrier. All right, we got a couple more turns of fight in this thing. A couple of more turns of fight. Yeah, I'm trying to really find like vehicles are like I don't know. It's it's weird how the mechs just are attracted to them so it's nice to bring vehicles no matter what you do because it pulls the fire away from you and onto vehicles but hey I, I don't know oh man if you miss from there though such a nice sh side shot like what if we sneak in here yeah we're not in the trees though I should go into the trees Let's go down here in the trees. But there's like, I mean, it's, it's, I don't want to say limited use. It's just, you have to be very selective on what you do with them. Yeah, we go after this one for the, for the chance to hit, I think. Oh man. You are loving that ultra 20. Commander. 
We'll do this. On my way. Save the Holopolis' armor, because I got a feeling it's going to be dueling out with some of these mechs afterwards. And see if we can kill this guy. Firing. I'm on it. Nope. Give him everything Good damage, though. Inflicted some heavy damage. Just means we got to spend Commander. somebody. Ooh. The line holder's given up on the, uh... The rifleman. I mean, I kind of don't blame him because, I mean, they got to do something about what we're doing to them. But you pretty much left your friend to die. Firing at enemy enemy down. You, that's on you, buddy. Sorry, but I would have taken the turn. Good to go. Would have taken the turn to try and clear me out of there. Um, do I want to use you on that guy? I don't think I do. I think I want to use you on this vedette. And I want to get to a point where I can use my thunderbolt on the vedette. If it's all possible. Apparently not. Do we wait for him to pass us and shoot him in the ass? 155 in the back. 200. I mean, it's not that much different. Let's get up here. Okay, now. Yeah, I mean, sure. We'll take it. Target confirmed. Be nice if we can get some acid ammo, though. Aye, aye. Let's go here. Maybe the line holder will shoot at you. We'll go. And I'm going to use you to finish this guy off. Uh, let's go with the sensors as well. It might be the sensors that get the kill. Nope. It's fine. <laughs> Hit this guy with a sensor though. Tango down. Waiting for orders. Monsieur Mothman. Roger that. You might be the only thing between that guy and getting out. I'm here. Minimum distance. We just dart away and come back. Let's do that. Out of sight, out of mind. Let's get our uh, stuff unjammed if we can. Drop the recoil on the ultra, give us a better chance to hit. That's pretty good chances. We're gonna throw the rockets on as well. Get as much damage on this guy as possible if we can here. Confirm. Yes. It's fireworks. Ooh, we got the kill. Oh, we ain't going anywhere. Look at you, all overheated. Keep it up. Drop the large lasers, so at least he dropped his heat. That Cephalus was gonna murder this line holder. Let's see what he does. Wow, you really like that's just confusing to me sometimes. Maybe he can't see anybody else. It, I mean, yeah, he couldn't really see me. So I mean, I guess he didn't have much choice. All right, let's get the tag right. on this guy if we can. I want to try and get as many flashman parts out of this if we can, but I don't know. Give them everything I've got. Tags on. Start plinking them. Hopefully we get a head hit somewhere in here. Out of SRM. That's all right. That's all right. Receiving you. Up on the hill. Just shoot him. Let's soften him up a bit. I know he's got a fair bit of armor. I'm not so bad in the torsos. I was finding it perplexing. I mean, I know you should have good armor in the legs to protect your legs. But the torso is really like you lose your entire side. Engage. If you don't protect it, right? So... Order. For this game, I mean, 
tabletop, I don't know, I guess it's completely up to you, but in this, definitely in Rogue Tech though, I spend less time worrying about what my legs have got than I do about uh, my torsos. Because very rarely I get legged, but I do go down a lot by uh, being hit in the torsos, so. Locking on. All right. Yep, keep it up, buddy. You shoot those LRMs. I think this guy's a replacement. What do you need? He's not part of the original team. He's just like, we need somebody, we need a body to fill this line holder. Get, get Joe the mechanic down here. We need somebody in here to help us out. All right, hammer this guy. I'm really hoping this guy bails out because I don't really have the juice to like... Like if I could keep him overheated, I would. Yeah, shoot for me. That's good. I got lots of armor. I can take it. I got lots of cheap armor. Yes, Commander. Let's move back here and brace. What? No. Twenty-three percent. So. Might be a little higher. I doubt it, but we'll see. Forty percent. Here it comes, baby. Yes. Commander. Now. Do we start trying to pull legs and stuff? He's overheating, so he's not gonna he's probably gonna shoot all his medium lasers back. See if we can get this leg. Confirm. Tags on. <clears throat> One missile on. That's about it. Yes, Commander. He's in range. We'll just walk over here. He's not going to turn around. We'll take the free kill. And here I was thinking of maybe I shouldn't take the Cephalus today. Alright, slowly getting through that armor. Aye, aye. Ultra's jammed, but we're still going to shoot the Thunderbolt. Go after this. 77%. Still didn't hit. Targets taking a critical hit. Did we hit our own guy? Okay. We did. We hit our own guy with a, the really great chance today with a thunderbolt, and we shoot our own freaking guy. Was it the thunderbolt we hit him with, or was it the? Maybe it wasn't. Could have been an SRM or something. I don't know. Yes, commander. Sure felt like the thunderbolt. All right. Um, OP this guy. I want to use this because it use, does less damage. 35 standard, really? Yeah, because then if we miss the uh, leg. So this does more damage to internals and less damage to armor. No, sorry, more damage to armor and less damage to internals. This does more damage to, in well, same damage to internals and armor as a normal round. So we're going to go that route. And see what happens. Okay, a few leg hits. Scored a critical hit. Ready for orders. Should really bring you up now, but we'll hold on. Finally getting your lasers on, are ya? Should give us six, at least six chevrons, I think. Six, seven, six, seven. God, this thing, it's just, it's so good. I'm so, I'm so glad we chose to pick it up. Now, uh, what are you doing here? 
So we got a bit in the leg. I think we just shoot. We might get lucky. All right. Got the right leg. But. Got lucky. Not often luck's on my side, but it is apparently today. Okay, he's superheated, his leg's gone. He's got a wound. He looks ridiculous because the mech looks ridiculous. Oh, yes! Yes! Alright, asshole, you want to shoot at my team? Nobody shoots at my team members but me! Roger. What do you think, girl? Don't get too close and we might hit you. On the move. <laughs> it's so bad. Let's just shoot him. I want to get hits. The more hits we get, the more pad he'll be. Solid connection, that one. The more hits Awaiting we get, orders. the more panicked he will be. Alright, that's pretty good. He's lost all his evasion and stuff now, so... Lost it all! Engaging target. Pilot injured. Something tells me that I should not sit there and shoot at him. Because if I do, I'll miss and hit the cephalus. You know me. Get to that position in the game where it's like, yeah, everything's everything's great, and then I just fuck it all up. Oh, this thing is just hitting like crazy. Yes! There it is, folks. Alright. 396,000. Beautiful. So the team is slowly coming together. I'm really enjoying this. Now we definitely have to push and try and get the... Uh... We Do we have a line? We never got a line holder part off the last one, did we? I think we take the four Flashman pieces. It depends on what's down here. I don't know how often we're going to see that, though. Like I I think this is like maybe the third time I've seen a Flashman in all the games that I've played. Like, I almost never see that mech, right? So, there's nothing down here. So, I'm thinking we do take the four parts then. I mean, I could take the two cores. they our last quick cell. Attack immune. That's actually kind of nice. Immune to through armor, critical hits, and damage. So does that mean it it deals with... Yeah, it did have three small Rex lasers. Technically, X-pulses. Um, does that mean if you get hit with tandem ammo, you don't take any internal damage? If you guys know, let me know in the comment section down below. That's actually kind of OP, I think. Plus 20% armor weight, though. So, I, 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 okay, I'm okay with that. It's a, it's a pretty big trade-off. 20% increase in armor weight is a lot. Especially if you've got like 16 tons of armor for a heavier mech. Then you're adding what? Like three... What? No. Yeah. You're adding like three tons of armor. So that's three tons to protect versus internal criticals. Or through armor damage. That's actually not... I mean, it's a pretty good trade-off. It depends on who you're facing, though, I guess. So yeah, I think... I mean, there's a vet out parts, too. Uh, let's go with the uh, Flashman pieces. I don't think we're ever going to see another one of these, but you never know. If we keep facing Draconis Combine, I think that was who these guys were, we might uh, we might see another one. But like I said, I almost never see this. But let's let's grab it anyway. All right, we got the one, one line holder part, one rifleman part, a couple of vedette parts. That's not bad. Vulcan, LRM-5, I think we can... Well, let's hang on to it. I don't know if we'll ever use it, but... That can go eight medium lasers. I don't think we need eight medium lasers. It's good money off that, though. Oh, we got the quick cell Duralast. Nice. And a 250 core. So that could go in the Griffin. We could get it up and running, like, right away with, like, medium laser loaded or something. I don't know. We're definitely going to keep that. LRM ammo we'll hang on to. Machine gun ammo can go, and the SRM ammo can go. So, not bad overall. Not bad at all. All right, not bad. 16K. Pretty good for repairs. So before we end this episode, I want to run an idea by you guys and l let me know what you think. So 
I just a few days ago I played a match with um, um, in the bat for the battle report series, which was Darius and an HQ vehicle against two lighter mechs, and it got me thinking. I mean, it's posted now. I don't know if you. I mean, this will be several days after it was posted, but if you haven't seen it, go check it out. Um, so my thought was maybe trying to figure out a way to do a series that would be called like Lone Wolf or something. And then I would start out with whatever random start and then choose one of those options that gives us a mech to start, like a hunchback or a bushwhacker or a random pirate mech or something. And I think I would let you guys decide what that would be. So I would I would put a poll up and then ask for what you guys think that, that, that starter mech should be. And then we would do a series called Lone Wolf. And the idea is that I, that's whatever mech that I start with is the mech that I need to use and all I would do is take on dual missions and the idea behind the series is the pilot would be an assassin sent out to kill certain other mech pilots whether the person was slighted or whatever and I know there's a dual duo a dual uh, duels as well so you can have uh, or duo duels where you can have two pilots. So what I would do is I would um, out of the other mechs that I got in my start, I would have a valet and the valet would accompany me on the, the missions where there's a second mech needed. Unless it was like a lighter mission and I didn't need two mechs like that one with Darius and the other the two lighter mechs. I wouldn't bring them along. It would just be one against two. And then maybe we would like a little later on take on like solo missions where it would be like we would take like a battle and it would be one mech against however many four or eight or whatever it ended up being um, but yeah the whole idea is that it would be lone wolf and the idea is to try to only use that mech and the mech pilot and we would only like I would have to probably run the company in the background as well to keep up with the financial reports and everything but then I would mark down what salvage I got out of the, the duels and I would only be able to use that salvage for that pilot. So, for instance, if I get, like, if I run an off-camera off uh, mission for Seabills, I would try not to use that mech. I would keep it aside, but use the regular Lance to do those off-camera ones. And then, but if I found, like, like Ando Steel or a better targeting computer or any of that stuff, I couldn't use it in my main guy. All I can use in my main guy is whatever drops from the individual duels. So the idea would be is just to try and do that. Now the, the issue is, and this is the only thing that I think that would make this playstyle not necessarily viable, is that it's really, really hard to find dual missions on planets. I don't get a lot of them. Often when I'm jumping, it's I maybe get one every three planet jumps or something. So I, the difficulty in that playthrough is I probably would have to do a lot of offline play with the regular company to be able to do a lot of jumping, to be able to find the mission that I need to do to record. So it's a lot of offline play that I'm not sure I'm ready to invest my time in. Now, if I was gonna do that, I might do it as a do, like a double series where I do it so that the company becomes a series. The main mech, the main pilot and the main mech don't get used in that series. So it would just be the company series and that main mech pilot and mech guy would just travel along with them until I found that proper mission. So we do a regular series and then I try to, in the meantime, as I'm recording those, because then I'm maximizing my time. And then we also have that parallel series where it's the lone wolf and he's taking the assassinate missions. And maybe we do it where he's like, you know, he's, he's bought passage on this Argo to travel with them wherever they go and then he picks up you know random you know he's paid for passage and he's to store his mech and everything on the Argo and then he just takes loan missions you know on the planet you know pays to use their dropship things like that right so it might be an interesting playthrough it's going to be like I said it's going to be tricky finding missions but I think it would be kind of interesting to see how that could play out and how you could 
maximize a single mech and a single mech loadout to just do duels continuously and how far you could go with it. Because I know at a certain point you're going to run into a really nasty mech and it's just going to murder you, right? You'll just, like, I'll be like, oh, you know, I've got a, I've got a heavy mech now. I can take a three-skull or a four-skull duel. And then you'll take it and it'll be something ridiculous with, like, a rack 20 or something. And then you're done, right? It's just, it, it, it just ends at that point. So we would go as far as we could until we could say, like, we would successfully say that the pilot was killed. So, yeah, I know we survive and all that. But, like, maybe we go until the pilot takes full wounds, if the pilot takes full wounds, we just consider him dead, and that's the end. But I don't know. Let me know what you guys think in the comments. I think it would kind of be a pretty cool idea. Um, and, and I know the, the Rogue Tech people don't like people messing with their code. I totally get that. Um, but it would be interesting to see if there's a way that you could find a way to make all of the missions um, to be just duels. Because if I could do that, then I would just, then I could continuously play with just the one guy. You know, we could technically sell everything at the start, sell all the mechs, get rid of all the other pilots, keep one as a valet, and maybe keep a second mech or a vehicle as a valet um, pilot for the dual missions, and then sell everything else. Because it, I mean, really, we don't need to get the scrap leopard. We don't need to get a lot of stuff. We just need to make money off the, the duels, which we should be able to do. And if we're getting a fair number of missions, it should be relatively easy. And I could start off with maximum C bills too, and then just say we can't use the C bills to buy anything in the store. We can only use like the starting C bills. Would we? I would keep track of, and we would only use those for jumping around to find missions. And then the stuff, the money that we make off the the duels that we do. We could use to buy stuff in the store, but we couldn't use the initial money to do that. Yeah, anyway, let me know what you think in the comments. I think it would be kind of an interesting, an interesting, like I'm trying to think of something different to, to record, and I think that would kind of be cool. But let me know what you think. Um, please drop in the comments in the comment section down below. Anyway, I'm going to end this episode here. Hope you enjoyed it. If you did, drop a like. If you didn't, well, it is what it is. <laughs> Until next time, we'll see you later.